Warning, the following gameplay you're about to witness is rated mature, 17 and older, for one or more of the following reasons listed. Please enjoy. Hello travelers, welcome back to the episode of blah, blah, blah. Game Time with Movie Man, playing until dawn as Sam right now. The only one who doesn't seem to be deemed up much in this whole game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Had to do it. Anyway, um, a lot of action last episode. Let's hope for um, resolution in this one. So, resume game now. Let's go ahead and climb. Be safe, sister. You've done it before. You can rock climb, you have fit. Climb round. Let's do that. Up to Daisy. Up to Daisy. Nice. See, you done did it. Proud of you. Shit. Climb to outcrop. You've done this before. Playing it safe, not gonna die. Up to Daisy. Climb round. Be careful for your own sake. Last little bit. See, your fit self made it. Yeah, and then slips and falls. Get pushed. Okay. Haven't been Sam in a minute, now we're Sam. Anything over here? Oh, the stairs. Any totems or anything back there? Probably not. Alright, let's go. Oh, I see something over here, though. Is that a totem? Oh, shit, I didn't mean it. Too late, drop down. Oh, creepy dark caves and I'm unarmed. Here goes nothing. Just have a headlamp. That is mildly convenient. Fucking in track suit in the middle of a mountain. So out of place. Gotta chill, be nimble, quick nimble, flight and fleet. Hello? Yeah, there's one nearby. Probably knows I'm here. Oh, I hear it. Let's go right. Yeah. It's sniffing for me. It's nearby, probably hunting me right oh, Can I just go? I almost guarantee you. Ooh, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, great. It was the spirit. That's awesome. It's looking for somewhere to land. That's just phenomenal. Yeah, my bad. I, like, blew up two, so I literally destroyed two and killed and let us, and, like, two spirits go in the last episode. Damn. Do yeah, that. That's right. Come on, girl. You could do it. Ups Daisy. I did it. Everything's all rusted. And I have a shovel now. I guess I got some type of weapon. Am I gonna dig my way out of this? Can I come up there? I cannot. Alright. Let's go through here then. Making our way to Josh, because we're all split up and then hope we all just get back and find each other. Lots of noise. That's the right way to go. Oh, we're back out in the woods. What do you fucking know? Okay. What should I? Uh, I 
see building over there. If I'm trying to meet up with Mike, this is probably where I want to go. Probably, I'm just guessing. I wonder if it has a huge income on what happens. I see a big building, so... Any way in from right here? Hello? Boarded up the place. I can hear a shivering, that's realistic. Let's find another way around. Are both of these different roads gonna lead to the same path? I see a bridge over there, the same path. It seems that way. Buildings. There might be something to scavenge over here. Maybe a totem. Oh, they both led to the same way, didn't they? That's like a movie, I swear. Yeah, both looked the same way, didn't they? Yep, the exact same way. Thought so. Alright. I name you Shovel Girl. Perhaps you can even get up to the rank of Shovel Knight? Yeah. Uh -huh. Someday, someday. This is the right path. And a footbridge where totally nothing bad could happen. Maybe does it. Cool. Let the tension build, then let the bass kick after the tension builds. I hear creaky creaky. Lost your shovels, fall girl. <laughs> or that. Healer. Anybody there? Holy <laughs> shit! Shit! Jeez. Mediocre. Predictable. Ugh. So from that shit coming. Why would you go in? I'm full of smart decisions today. So follow that Wendigo. I guess I mean, where else am I really gonna go? Oh, that's why. Battle up. Oh. Come on, come oh, on, that makes go. sense. Oh, you're beat up, aren't you? Right. <laughs> Another spirit. Got any marshmallows? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, I took care of at least one of them. Oh shit. Maybe more. God damn. Back to the mine. Where's it now, sister? Oh. You alright? Uh, define alright. I mean, fucking Alive. now you have some bruises on you, probably. Let's Got find a way down a little where this fucker lives. You still have your machete? The skillful wolf man. Well, let's go. Previous Anna Zilda on, check it out. Survive! Yeah, we know you survived. Emily! Is dead. Hey, hey. <laughs> Mike, alive. there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. Hopefully. No, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. It may have taken him down to the mine. Wait, no more. Yeah. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. That's it. That's it. Come on, come on, let's go. Run! Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Yeah, I'm gonna go find the big main man. Oh shit.
Repentance. One hour until dawn. What if this is the final chapter? This might be the last episode, guys and gals. Hopefully I have enough battery for it. You okay there, Joshy boy? Are you my father? I wonder how much these sessions are of any help for you now. Just won't listen to me and think seems pretty. Uh. Fucked up. <laughs> so I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. Shit. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! And at every turn, you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. Though by the sounds of things, you won't be alone for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. <laughs> Deep breath. What you gonna do, Josh? Am I gonna play as you? No. 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 Oh, wow. No. No, 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 Get away! Get away! There's a mental breakdown here, buddy boy. Get away from me! <laughs> no! You're dead! Sorry. You're dead! You Shut up! Oh, baby, oh, no! You're dead! You're a snobbery. You manipulate no. You are a coward. There, God. Yeah, I want to start having a bit of a lot. Take words from you. You can't. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do anymore. Time is run out for Josh. Okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. Oh, I, I knew you. it. For Josh. Can I do a menu for me? I'm still in decent standings with everybody. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? Not brave and not even remotely brave. Oh boy. Hello, Josh. Oh! Josh. No, no, no. You're not real. You're all alone down there. No. Oh, it's so creepy. No, 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 not again. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna be over here. I wanna go somewhere else. All alone. But you're with us now. Family. Get away from me! Get away! Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? I didn't want you to die. I swear. <laughs> Punch the pig. Problems there, kid. It's hard to believe that 
thing used to be a person. Yeah. Maybe a miner. Maybe someone who worked in the sanatorium. Sure. There was so much weird Gosh, shit happening up there. Gosh, she's losing it. Did his sister, me. like, do stuff to him, or is he just, like, going crazy? Someone was capturing the Wendigos. Had them all tied up in these restraints. I saw some real fucked up shit. Yeah. Wow. I must have just let them all out when it blew the place up. Huh. Smooth move. Yeah, so there's only one keen Wendigo now, but if, you know, one of us dies or succumbs, then look who's gonna be a Wendigo. Does that mean Emily's gonna be a Wendigo? That'd be ironic, right? Look, she's dead. Now, there, there's the windmill. Now, what's the guidance on this again? I gotta remember. Um, butterfly effect, totems, mystery man. Updated? What's updated? Wendigos must have overrun the sanatorium. Bragg's body was never found. The restrained miner was turning into a Wendigo. Uh, the chair used in the old film. Uh, a partially transformed Wendigo. What I'm looking for is the totem that's of guidance. Right there. Okay, so this. Oh, oh, another totem! Speaking of totems, holy shit. Oh, let's see if it's something positive or not. The entire lodge on fire. Fortune and Mike are alive. Okay, that's something that's gonna happen, maybe? Fortunate if it does happen, because the good fortune said going around is the key to do it. So it better be a choice over here of going around. That is what I would like to do. Is that what I think it is? Unless it isn't a choice. Looks like a grave. Oh shit. Oh boy. Best watch. An empty grave with Beth's watch lying in the dirt. Someone or something has dug up her body. Ooh. Gonna put it on? Have her spirit with you? Oh, God. Mike, this is Beth. This is her watch. Yep. What? Let me see. Look, there was a cross here. Yep. So this is where she was buried. But... Who dug her up? Maybe Josh did in his insanity. Let's get my a Wendigo, probably to eat it. Down we go. At least I found out the grave was there. I'm going in. Let's do it together. Oh, come on, it's okay. You sure? I'm not dead yet. Oh, it's his last words. Right. <gasps> oh. It's freezing. Hit me you just got in. Oh boy. Water physics. Let's wait to the cold water. Oh boy. Don't get dragged under, Mike. Do not have the shotgun anymore? Left over here is where we need to go. Because that was good fortune getting over to the left. I distinctly recall that as being a thing. Yes. Let's go. Ah, soaks. Let's just dry that off. I like how you're still dry. Wait, you know, I'm right here, right? Yeah, it's cool. What's that? Oh shit! This looks like Hannah's writing. Oh shit! My little sister. My little sister is dead. The fall killed her. I watched the color drain from her face. My leg is broken. I'm all alone, stuck here with Beth. So, blah blah. blah. Documents. Blackwood. Day five. I've never been so hungry. She ate her sister. It feels like my stomach is twisting around inside. I took Beth's sweater, much warmer, and she's still looking out for me. She ate her sister, and she's the head wind to go, isn't she? Day 30. I'm sorry, sorry Beth. Beth. I have no choice. It's the only way I can survive anymore. Oh, God. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. Oh, God. I had to. I had no choice. That's a mean? pretty good twist. Jesus. Hannah is a Wendigo. 
day 30 something, my hands feel my hands feel unclean. My nails fell out, pushing out. I am aching, but no more cold, no pain. I'm getting stronger. Hungry, hunger. Wait, change of narrative. Squirrel journal. A bundle of papers that Hannah used as a journal. It tells of how she was trapped down the mine and starving. She took desperate action for which she felt profoundly guilty. Then her body began to change. The journal ends as incoherent as scribbles. Oh, man. She updates this. Hannah's journal suggests that she dug up the body, driven mad with hunger. And the cross over here. According to Hannah's journal, Beth was killed from the fall. So yeah, Beth died, but Hannah was still alive. And then according to Hannah's journal, she was down in the mine on her own for weeks. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, it makes sense. It does. I think Hannah dug up Beth. Mm -hmm. It was Hannah. No, that's, Michael, that's ridiculous. Michael, it has to be the only thing that makes sense. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried her. God uh -huh. damn it. God damn it. Hannah was down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. She would have been desperate. Fuck! We need to find Josh. Right now. Let's find Josh again. Josh, your sister ate your sister. Oh, this was the fortune of what I needed to find. Okay, so I needed this shit. Like, if I didn't find this, I would never have known. But now I do, so that's good. I guess we go back now. That was why we told him, telling me that if you go this way, that's some very, like, immensely crucial shit you need. I needed to know. Oh yeah, snake, get, snake, get, snake, get. All right, let's go. How's it pulling back like that? I don't care. Fuck it, let's just go. It's getting deeper. Not anymore. A random door. That'll do it. Uh, <laughs> they both get out in their own way. I just hear a noise or something. What's over here? Not just the door then. Okay, let's go. Come on. And... <laughs> That's her, isn't it? Oh, man. You see that? Yeah. Bodies. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them. Uh. Wait, is that... Oh, my God. Is that Chris? No! I'm going to be sick. Uh. 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 Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Josh, yeah. Orders from you. Orders from you. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. We just need the key. I trust. You. And like the sister each. I trust you. I trust you. Oh boy. Middle of a psychotic. Oh. Oh. He's tripping or something. Josh! M M Mike. Yeah, Josh. hi. Josh! Hey, man. Oh, don't, don't hit me, please. please. Well, you were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get you back. But now we have all oh, the batteries going to be was down here for weeks, a month. She dug Beth up. Sam. Mike. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Please. Okay. Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Is that the symbol? See that over there? See what? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. Oh, hell. But there's hell no man. way Josh is going to make it up there. 
Nope. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. leave him down here. You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all get at the lodge. Be careful. Okay, right. Too. Good luck, girl. <sighs> all right, you go tell right, everybody. Go up up a bit. Ugh. Fucked up. I stole my friend. So, I'll tell you what, batteries run on the one the camcorder, not camcorder, the camera. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm still Josh. I'm gonna end it here for now, and then I'll wrap it all up in the next episode. It'll be the final episode, I think, because this is the last chapter. We're getting close to the end. Final, maybe even if it's a long episode, I'll make it the long episode. It's gonna be the final finale for Until Dawn. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next probably fucked up episode of Until Dawn. Goodbye, travelers.